Thanks for stopping by What's New Barbecue. My name is Kenneth and it's August and in Texas that means it's really hot. Not only is it really hot, but August means that baseball season's rolling around. And if y'all have been following me, y'all know that I coach baseball. So in today's video, I'm going to show y'all just how beneficial it can be to have a pellet smoker in your arsenal. Today's the first day for baseball practice and I actually got to go coach it. So we're going to get this pork butt that we picked up from Matador Prime Steak tossed onto the Timberline 850 and it's going to do a job. Y'all stick around and we'll get to seasoning up this pork butt. Alright guys, I just filled up the hopper with more pellets and we're rolling with maple, cherry, and hickory, a nice combination there. So I'm just going to go ahead and flip the switch on right here and we're going to get this Traeger up to temperature. Press and hold your button there till the display pops on. And while we're seasoning our pork butt, I'm going to set this to 220 degrees pit temperature. And we're also going to do a mode that's called super smoke, which will give our pork butt a really good smoky flavor. So let's go ahead and get that started. And ignite it. And you can hear it kicks on automatically. We'll go ahead and get the lid shut down. And I'll bring you around and we'll get this pork butt seasoned up. Alright y'all, like I said, while that pit's coming up to temperature, we're going to go ahead and get this pork butt all seasoned up. It's a little bit over 10 pounds of uh, pork, so we're going to put a good amount of seasoning on it. Onto the cutting board. Let me show you all up close on it. It's got some really good fat content in there. Nice quality meat. Let's go ahead and get this seasoned up. And today, y'all have seen me use it before, I'll be using some of my favorite stuff, Right Rub All Purpose Seasoning for this pork butt. It's gonna go great on it, I already know. And we don't need a binder. It's already got plenty of juices to make these seasonings adhere. So we're just gonna liberally coat this with some Right Rub and let it sit while that pit comes up to temperature here in about 10 minutes and I will update y'all when we're tossing it on. Alright y'all, our pork butt's all seasoned up and the seasoning sweat in nicely. Our pits came up to the 220 degrees smoking temperature that we're looking for. So we're going to go ahead and get this pork butt tossed on and I'm not going to update y'all for four hours. Um, we'll see what we're looking like at that point and we'll probably spray it with some apple juice. But y'all stick around and I'll update y'all here in a little bit. Dang, that looks good. And we're actually going to get our temperature probe put in here into this pork butt so we can monitor temperatures. And we're going to do the super smoke process until we reach a temperature of 160 degrees internal. And then we'll go from there. And we're going to set a timer to check on this. And we're going to set it for three hours from now. All right, and you can see that the time has begun right there. I will update y'all in three hours. Just wanted to show y'all all the smoke that's coming out of this Timberline. That's that super smoke mode that we turned on at the beginning of the cook. And that is under 220 degrees you can select the super smoke mode. And like I said, I'm going to leave it on this until we get to our checkpoint when we're spraying it with some apple juice. Alright y'all, we are at the checkpoint where I told y'all we'd be checking on this pork butt and spraying it with some apple juice. Man, look at that color that's starting to form. Nice bark getting on there. We're going to go ahead and spray it with some apple juice like I said. It's time for me to go to baseball practice so I'm going to spray this fairly well and shut it down. Let it keep cooking. Look at that color. Golly. Alright. I'm going to shut it down. 
and we're gonna keep cooking right at that 220 or below super smoke mode until I get back and then we're gonna crank it up to about 250 degrees all right I'll catch back up with y'all after baseball practice all right y'all I made it back from practice and it's been rolling for five hours right under or right around 220 degrees on the pit it's looking great, smelling awesome. I'm going to spray it down with a little bit of apple juice. Make sure it stays nice and juicy and tender throughout the rest of this cook. Man, that color is looking great. Let me bring y'all in for a closer look. Look at that beautiful color. I'm going to go ahead and get the door shut so we can keep on cooking. I will update y'all in an hour when we spray it again. Just wanted to show you I'm setting a timer for an hour from now. So there we go, we have an hour set. And I'm dialing the temperature of the pit up to 250 degrees. We're gonna crank it up a little bit. And I'm gonna set that. Super smoke canceled because it has to be between 165 and 220, 225. So we're gonna roll at 250. And we're gonna spray again here in an hour, and I'll update y'all at that point. All right, guys, we're at an hour after the last time I updated y'all, and as y'all can see, that bark's setting in really well. We're gonna go ahead and spray it down with some apple juice, and like I told y'all, we're running at 250 degrees inside the pit. We're gonna go ahead and continue cooking at 250 degrees. I'll update y'all in another hour when we're spritzing it again. We are right at the next checkpoint for the pork butt and as you can see we're right at 156 degrees internal. Rolling right around 250 degrees on the timber line. Let's go ahead and get this door opened up and see what this pork butt's looking like. Wow, check that out. Man, look at that color. That's looking great. Smells awesome. I'm gonna go ahead and spray it down with some apple juice. You can see it's starting to break away on the top here. That's what we're looking for. We're gonna spray this down with some apple juice and shut the lid down and keep on cooking. And I'm not gonna keep updating y'all every hour because what we're gonna do is every hour we're gonna spray this pork butt. But I will update y'all when we're pulling this apart and we'll give it a try. All right guys, this is the pork butt after being on the Timberline 850 for 13 hours. Now reminder, we started it with the low slow smoke, the super smoke mode that was 220 degrees in the pit or lower. And then after the five hour mark, we cranked that up to 250 degrees for the duration of the cook, which like I said was a total of 13 hours. Let me show you what this bark's looking like. That's looking awesome guys. Wow, look at that color. That right rub always puts a great color on barbecue. But this bark set in beautifully. I'm really happy with how that turned out. But there's only one more thing to do, and that is to see how juicy and how tender it is. So let's let's give it a, a test here. There we go. Man, the bones coming out. Everything's off. That's great. Look at that. Beautiful, guys. Wow. All right. Now for the judo chop. You know? No, just play. We're just going to dive right in. Look at that. Nothing but tender. Nothing but juicy. Like I said, tons of bark built on there. You can smell the smokiness in here, guys. The color's beautiful. Wow. Let me get y'all a close-up. Look at that smoke ring. So we've answered two questions here regarding use of a pellet smoker that's can you get a bark the answer is yes and can you get a smoke ring I'd say that we accomplished both of those today or in this cook 
I'm going to go ahead and get this all shredded up and I'll catch right back up with y'all when we're giving it a taste. Alright guys, we got that shredded up, some good textures in there, some nice pulled pork. I like to leave a good amount of uh, bark in there and texture like I said, it makes for a really good pulled pork sandwich or whatever you're doing. But we're covering the top of this now that we shredded it up with some more right rub just to make sure those flavors really penetrate. And then we're just going to give that a mix and then we'll be done. Time to taste. Golly, it's juicy. Alright guys, I'll catch back up with y'all here in just a second. Now's time for the moment of truth, the taste test. It all comes down to this. I think, uh, I think it's going to be pretty dang good, judging by how it looks. We got some good smoke color in there, a good smoke ring, some great bark. I mean, look at that bark that got created on that pork butt. And just to recap, we started this pork butt yesterday right before I had baseball practice and I really wanted to show y'all just how well the Traeger Timberline 850 could run on its own. So we started that right before baseball practice like I said. I sprayed it at the three hour mark with some apple juice. Uh, came back after baseball at the five hour mark and sprayed it with some more apple juice and cranked it up from 220 degrees cooking temperature to 250 degrees for the duration of the cook which was a total of 13 hours. And reminder, we seasoned this with some right rub, which is just a great savory barbecue seasoning. I say barbecue, but you can use it on anything. But enough talking guys, let's give this a shot and see what it turned out like, and I'll let you know. Let's see what we got. Got me a nice big bite. The smokiness is there. That super smoke mode on the Timberline 850 really uh, imparted some good smoke flavor and the smoke rings there you got that good taste from the bark and that right rub just goes perfect on this barbecue I'm gonna go ahead and finish this up guys I appreciate y'all for watching leave me a comment down below let me know how do you season up your pork butt what do you do with your leftovers I appreciate y'all for watching what's new barbecue and until next time keep on barbecuing Grilling as you reminisce the good old days Checking temperature on the smoker gauge Cheersing as the sun goes down Just a guy who loves being from a small